morning. How are you doing this morning, Nontle? <laughs> Oh, wow, thank you guys for having me. You've yeah. got me blushing on a Monday no morning. No shortage <laughs> of credentials, I'll tell you that much. No shortage of credentials. Uh, absolute pleasure to have you on. And uh, Monday's being as it is, uh, we are also joined by Team 5FM, and we'll be finding out if they've got any questions uh, for you this morning. But first things first, did you manage to catch the Grammys last night? Oh, my goodness. Um... No. <laughs> oh, and I thought it was the only you, one. You thought you were the only no, one. No, you know what? Yeah. You, you know, I, I, I've just kind of, I'm, I'm growing, you know, and um, yeah. the entertainment space right. is no longer the same. And, and we consume uh -huh. our content in so many different platforms Very in different true. ways now. So, um, you know, the culture of having to stay up and watch a live show. Yeah. The narrative doesn't make sense anymore because mm -hmm. things are exposed on social media immediately. It's almost like everything is so transparent and right, so easily right. accessible that the culture of the enjoyment of stuff too. is mm -hmm. no longer there. Yeah, no, actually, me. that is very true because uh, when I do say watch the Grammys, and, and that's a really valid point, it's like it's no longer you sit in front of, you know, <laughs> your idiot box and you're like, oh, guys, I need to. But but certainly the information was coming to you, right? Uh, who's done what, who's been nominated where, uh, some of the performances. So you were up to speed with at least the fact that Africa had some decent representation? <laughs> So oh, I hear this on is me you. was um... <laughs> This is me telling you. Okay, well, first of all, Brenna Boy managed to finally bag a Grammy. And this one you already know, Trevor Noah, South Africa's very own Trevor Noah, uh, being yes. the host. Okay, so let's start with Trevor look, Noah. Look, I'm just so happy that we are in a, in a, in a place now, mm -hmm. in 2021, where um, Africa is literally now um taking over the world you know right. and being embraced because remember i'm i'm 39 now and mm -hmm. i i remember i was traveling the world and, and trying to introduce yeah. africa to the world mm -hmm. um when i was like 24 25 26 i yeah. mean i remember dealing with with um the different misconceptions people had about being an african girl like mm. being asked by rappers and people that i used to interview if we even had the internet <laughs> if, if if you know stuff like that and i remember i needed to kind of bring this positive change that um this is what africa is about not just what they were used yeah. to seeing in the news back then yeah. of of sick children and poverty you know mm -hmm. so for me it's been a long time coming and it's just such a great space yeah. that there's now African people that are doing things, whether from Nigeria, whether from your country, South Africa, and the doors are now finally open. And I'm grateful to God that he gave me the opportunity to, to pave a way in yeah. some way. No, that's what's up. And we, we, we absolutely enjoyed seeing the journey and inspiring uh, some of us to do what we do uh, in the world of <laughs> media. But like definitely uh, last night also proving to be big, WizKid managing to get a nod. Burner Boy walking away with a Grammy. And, uh, of course, Burner Boy, um, uh, one of his quintessential milestones was his time in South Africa. And once again, uh, all that culminating to a big night uh, for Africa when it comes to the entertainment world. But also, Nontle... Um, let's... Was Shoma Josie anywhere there? Shoma, Shoma Josie Shoma... was not there, but... Uh, <laughs> wow! You know, it's, it's interesting that you can even ask because, uh, you see, the transition, the barriers have officially broken down and you started off making a very valid point you talked about technology how in your opinion has technology just made this transition easier for us to consume appreciate or even from the background which you have privy information of from the business side of things when it comes to entertainment how has technology helped all that when it comes to the african narrative oh man just easily ex accessible mm -hmm. now everybody can see anything from anywhere at any time yeah. um you know, because then with my time of television, mm -hmm. there wasn't social media in terms of this kind of space. So right. when I was trying to meet, reach out to find out the culture of the American artists, the Grammys, what goes down there, I literally physically needed to be there. Absolutely. You know, whereas now um, there's a girl sitting somewhere and she's never been to America or anywhere, but mm -hmm. she's exposed to what was what transpired last yeah. night at the Grammys because of the social media uh, platform and, 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 and being able to easily access information. Right. So business-wise, it's made things better, but it's also like kind of removed the joy of, of mm. the work. 
itself. Oh, yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Because there's no more need for really a presenter to go and represent and get the information when people can easily access that themselves. Mm-hmm. Very true. Very true. But, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, but also, uh, before we say goodbye to you, I, I really need to ask you this one. Um, the Grammy, the world of entertainment, so many conspiracy theories when it comes to people winning, okay? Um, uh, the likes of Beyonce uh, being awarded. She was in a rap category. I found that yeah, a bit how? awkward, but anyway. Yeah. Um, so you who's been on the ground, <laughs> you who's been on the ground um, and basically in, has interacted behind the scenes, um, what in your opinion all right, uh, gives rise to some of these decisions. Because every time there's awards such as these, there's always no. debate. There's always debate. People feel that this one didn't deserve it. This one was just given a Yeah, a, a there's always a, some sort of propaganda and yeah. stuff. So what do you have to say about no, that? No, these... Are those it's legitimate? Just, it's, yeah. And, uh, there's nothing really, really... I don't think there's much legit. It's just, it's just, it's just a platform whereby um, the people of power and mm. who they want to push and who they're connected to and it's really not really always about the music unfortunately okay. or about the star themselves it's mm. just about who is being uh shoved down the 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 the, the, the fans throat at mm. that particular point in time All and right. if it's your time and you are the liked one and they will push you out there so yeah. i'm happy that whiskey burner boy they're consistent they're always so they definitely got some good points there mm-hmm. you know Right. Um, but Beyonce is 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 I I feel like there's new talent that they they could replace with, but they still want to keep at the top. So yeah. All right. Well, at the risk of shaking the beehive, <laughs> we end it there, non I don't want to be responsible for that mess right there. All right, non no, 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 I'm, I'm on Instagram. They can they can come and show me love. Oh. <laughs> 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 all right, thank you so so much, the legend, legendary Nontle Tema. Thank you so so much for all thank you've done you. when it comes to the world of entertainment yes. and the continent. 